was supposed to start a half an hour ago. Isn't Daddy here yet? Honey, your dad is a lawyer. It's the holidays. He's probably foreclosing on somebody. <laughs> Surprise! It's me, Sasha! Hi, Sasha! <laughs> Where's my dad? He had to go to Japan. Japan? Oh, mm -hmm. That's a good one. He used to tell me he left the lights on at work. <laughs> well, he had a very important meeting, so he sent me as his representative. So from now on, just pretend I'm him. Fine. <laughs> then sit your shiny ball head down. Let's get this thing over with. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, mom, and whatever. <laughs> now, it's been two years since the divorce, and we've spent a Christmas with each of you. Yeah. And it bites. <laughs> so we were thinking that maybe this year we could celebrate together. Everyone. Everyone, everyone? <laughs> Please, Mom. Can't we all be together? Well, I finally got my Christmas wish. Oh. My boy Mad Frog got a hold of some cheap airline tickets. Don't worry, it's perfectly legit. All I have to do is travel under the name Tyrone Nagasuki. <laughs> I leave for New York Christmas Eve. I thought you were going to spend Christmas with us. Well, that would be great, Austin, but Christmas is my favorite time of the year, and I like to spend it with my family. You understand, Chief? Yeah. Sweetheart, I don't like being separated any more than you do over Christmas. Well, if your father's willing to spend Christmas together, so am I. He's willing. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Go hug your father. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Once upon a time. Daddy sent me a ticket to spend the holiday with the family in Vegas. <laughs> We're staying in a camper in the parking lot of the Mirage. Oh, so you're staying on the strip this year? Yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, could you drive the limo for me on Christmas Day? I'm sorry, Clayton. I always spend Christmas with my family. If I'm not there, who's gonna stop Cousin Louie from selling watches at the candlelight service? <laughs> oh. Nana, is that you? No, it's Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> She's pulling your leg, Marion. That's Nana. <laughs> I know who it is, Clayton. Nana, Jackie didn't tell me you were coming for the holiday. Well, why should she? You are the help. <laughs> Besides, I didn't tell her either. Well, I guess I better go find someone to drive that limo. I let my Uncle Merle do it, but he spits tobacco and sometimes he forgets to roll down the window. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. This is Marion. Who's this? Nana is someone named Buster. <laughs> tell him I'm not here, and even if I were, I wouldn't speak to him. <laughs> She's not here. <laughs> He says he knows you're here. He heard your big mouth. <laughs> Who are you calling a big mouth buster? <laughs> yes, I know where your house shoes are, and I'm not telling. <laughs> Nana! Oh, Jackie! What are you doing here? Uh, oh. oh, it's so good to see you. Where's Grandpa Buster? Oh, he's home dropping spoons so the day nurse has to bend over. Oh! <laughs> but never mind him. You've got me for the entire holiday oh. season. Talk about the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> All right, come on, show me that Christmas spirit. <laughs> Tiffany, keep your hands off your brother's
Christmas ornament. They're all on the same branch. The tree is starting to tilt. Mm. Looks straight to me. Another glass of that eggnog and little Richard will look straight to you. Well, in a couple of hours, my dad will be picking me up from the airport and I'll be introducing my whole family to the stewardess I meet on the plane. <laughs> God, I love Christmas. Here's these are for you. Don't open them until Christmas. Or at least until I get out of the door. Merry Christmas, Marion. I'll miss you. Thanks, Marion. And Jackie, I didn't forget you. Oh, Marion, what is this? An envelope to put the rent check in. <laughs> I didn't get you anything either. <laughs> well, happy Kwanzaa. Have a great holiday. Bye, Bye Mary. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Happy holidays. Hello? Daddy! Hi! You're still in Japan. Well, you said you'd be here Christmas morning. Hi, it's me, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> but Spanky, you promised. <laughs> well... Who's going to jingle my bells if you're not here? <laughs> okay, honey, I'll tell everybody. Daddy's not coming for Christmas, is he? Of course he is. He just won't get here until the day after. <laughs> First, Mary is going to now, Dad. This Christmas stinks. Oh, I better go talk to him. Austin! Excuse me, sir, but do you have jumper cables? My car won't start. Hey, in an outfit like that, all you should have to do is sit on a hood. <laughs> Please, it'll only take a minute. All right, all right, but I have to hurry. I have a plane to catch. Hey, Santa? Looking kind of buff there. <laughs> What'd you do, pull a sleigh yourself? <laughs> Give me your wallet and your keys. No, you got it wrong. Aren't you supposed to ask me what I want? <laughs> okay. Want to put up your hands? Or would you like Santa to give you a lump of lead? Nails. It must be Christmas. It's Christmas, but it's not Buster. Ah! What are you doing here? I thought you went home for Christmas. I got robbed by Santa Claus and I missed my flight. Oh, that's too bad. And it's Christmas, too. Where are you going to sleep? <laughs> Well, last time I checked, this was my bed. Although it didn't smell like Ben Gay. Well, excuse me, I've got bad knees. Wait a minute. Is that crumbs I feel in my bed? Well, I was hungry. Figure around and see if you can find the cheese ball. Doing here? Well, I just came by to wish my ex granddaughter in law a Merry Christmas. Oh. Here's a fruitcake. <laughs> Speaking of fruitcakes, where's my wife? Oh, isn't that sweet? You've come to apologize. No, I didn't come to apologize. I came because she took my heart medicine. <laughs> that woman's got a mean streak you don't know about. <laughs> come on, give me this bag. Well, if neither one of us is willing to give up the bed, I suggest we go to sleep. <laughs> now, don't hog the covers. I hope you don't snore. And no monkey business. Nana, this is the season to be jolly, not delirious. <laughs> mm. 
Buster. This is Jackie's nanny. Marion, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I should have suspected something when she started wearing her girdle to bingo. <laughs> Look, Buster, as lovely and desirable as Nana is, she's all yours. From the top of her wig to the tip of her corn cushions. <laughs> That's it, Mr. Solaplex body. Get up out of that bed. Come on, I got some boy up in here. Grandpa, Buster, this huh? is the season to deck the halls, not each other. Now sit on down, Nana. You come and go to my room with me. And Grandpa, you stay up here with Marion, okay? Jackie, Jackie, this is my bed, not the Medicare office. <laughs> it's Christmas. Please, don't do me like this. I'm sorry, Marion, but the inn is all full. Just think of him as one of the wise men. Instead of frankincense, he's got gas. <laughs> Well, Merry Christmas to both of you on this, the most holiest of days. Now I'm off to Vegas to gamble and drink till I puke. Yeah, Clay, we better get going before Jackie's family wakes up and starts carrying on like Ike and Tina in a coffee shop. Did you have a nice Christmas, Jackie? Thank you. I'll bring you back a celebrity hubcap from the parking lot. They make great dip bowls. Marion, you're not going to be here for Christmas? Well, I promised Clayton I'd drive his limo for him so he can go to Vegas. Besides, you probably want to be with your family. That's not my family. Somehow, when I divorced Milton, I got custody of them. Please don't leave me alone with them. Oh, poor you, Jackie. You have to share your house with people who drive you nuts. Gee, I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mrs. Claus. Where are we headed? That's Claus. Oh, you mean like in Santa Claus? Well, of course, like in Santa Claus. How many Clauses do you know? You must get kidded an awful lot this time of year. About what? You know about the name. People probably ask you if you're Mrs. Santa Claus. I am Mrs. Santa Claus. Okay. Well, I hope we're not headed to the North Pole. I don't think I have enough gas. Oh, no. I'm not going back up there until after New Year's. I'm tired sitting home while he and his reindeer go traipsing around the world. If he thinks it's cold up there now, <laughs> wait till he comes home and finds me gone. <laughs> Let the damn elves get the soot out of the suit. <laughs> Every year, I say, let me scotch guard the suit. <laughs> but he says, no, it'll make it scratchy. So I you want scratchy? Try kissing yourself with that beard. Talk about a mood killer. Why aren't we moving? You haven't said where we're headed. My guess is somewhere padded. Jackie, I have something over here for you. I hope you like it. I made it myself. Lina. <laughs> oh, it's, um, <laughs> it's heavy. Uh, 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 lucky us, she started taking pottery classes. You want to see what I got to drink my coffee out of? <laughs> Here we go again. That's what we were fighting about. He thinks I go to pottery class just to meet men. Well, you sure ain't learned how to make pottery. <laughs> I saw that movie Ghost. I know what they're doing in pottery classes. <laughs> well, it's certainly a lot more interesting than waiting for you to come out of the bathroom with a newspaper. Ooh, Milton does the same thing. I like to wait by the door with a nice hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Who is she again? <laughs> I keep thinking she's one of Tiffany's little friends. Would you care for a sugar plum? I soaked mine in Mogan David. 